In the midst of rising unemployment rates, extensive austerity measures, and increased privatization, many Spanish people are losing faith in electoral politics. Amaranta Herrero is a PhD student at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. There has been an austerity plan in, the, in Spain that has affected different areas, such as uh, education, or health, or social services. The unemployment rate between young people is really high, it's uh, about 45%. The overall unemployment rate is nearly 22%. On November 20th, 2011, Spain held an early election that saw the People's Party, a center-right party, ushered into political power. Activists across Spain were encouraging people to submit an invalid vote, a vote that favors no existing political party, but which still needs to be counted in the electoral results. Altogether, those who refused to vote or who submitted an invalid vote outnumbered the votes for the winning People's Party by 323,650. Gala Pin is an active member of the May 15th movement. Today we had elections in, the, in Spain. The call for the day was, I think, in order to say that they don't represent us, that we don't believe in the representative democracy and that democracy is not in the parliament but in the streets. The week in the run-up to the elections was marked by political protests as strikes, marches and occupations spread across the country. Yesterday there was a strike on, on, the, on health the day before, there was the strike on education. Tonight, a lot of people will be gathering in Plaza Catalunya. So what is happening is that these three sectors are meeting and are organizing themselves together to try to establish a common front. The May 15th movement that started with the occupation of public squares across Spain has developed into a series of decentralized neighborhood assemblies, ongoing campaigns against budget cuts, and occupations of buildings, hospitals and universities. On Thursday, November 17th, there was a nationwide student strike with approximately 15,000 students marching in Barcelona against proposed budget cuts. In my university, people occupied the Faculty of Sociology and Political Science, so they organized assemblies and they paralyzed all the classes for two, three days. Education is a right, it's not a privilege. The acute housing crisis in Spain has been a key site of struggle as people occupy buildings to provide housing for some of the hundreds of thousands of families that have been evicted from their homes. Javier is a member of the Asamblea de Sant. When you are evicted from your house uh, here, you still have to keep paying the bank because of the interest and the market has decreased the price of your house. Spain has three million buildings that are empty and there are, I think, more than, at least in Barcelona, more than 10 uh, families that are kicked out of the house every day. In several cities of Spain, the 15 movement has occupied several buildings to give a solution to people who have already been evicted. On October 15, 2011, as part of the International Day of Rage, Activists in Barcelona reclaimed an abandoned building to provide housing for homeless families. An activist involved in the action agreed to show us the building, but asked to remain anonymous. Okay, this building was occupied the 15th of October 2000, uh, 2011 after a huge demonstration. This, well, this building was it's completely new. It was built five years ago and it's been empty for five years. This building has become a symbol no, of, the, of the evolution of the movement here in, in Spain. A symbol of how all the claims of the 15th of May are becoming more concrete. Another building was reclaimed just two days before the election. This building um, be, uh, has been empty during three years already. And it, be, it belongs to a, to a financial entity, uh, Sanostra, Caixa de Balear, that also is related with a bigger financial entity, Banco Mare Nostrum. This, this financial entity has been rescued with public money in the amount of more than 900 million euros. That's our money. In the building, there will be li uh, people living, uh, families that have been evicted from their houses by the banks and also unemployed people that cannot get a, a job and they cannot afford a house in the situation we are living now in Spain. With the victory of the Conservative Party in this week's election, 
Spain is bracing itself for increased austerity as the recession in Spain deepens. But the increase in budget cuts are sure to coincide with an expansion of resistance. As long as the cuts continue, people will go to the street and will be demonstrating.